Living the New Life, September 9th. Therefore all things, whatsoever he would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Matthew 7 verse 12. Christ came to teach us not only what we ought to know and believe, but also what we ought to do in our relations with God and with our fellow men. The golden rule of equity demands that we do to others as we would they should do unto us. We are to keep their eternal interests in view, saying to ourselves, they are the purchase of the Saviour's blood, bought with a price. In all our dealing with our fellow men, whether they be believers or unbelievers, we are to treat them as Christ would treat them were he in our place. It is for our present and eternal good to obey the law of God. It will be for their present and eternal good also to do this. Our highest aim is to be to them medical missionary workers after Christ's order. All who enter through the pearly gates into the city of God must have set forth Christ in all their dealings. It is this that constitutes them the messengers of Christ, his witnesses. They are to bear a plain, decided testimony against all evil practices, pointing them to the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. He gives to all who receive him power to become the sons of God. Regeneration is the only path by which we can reach the holy city. It is narrow, and the gate by which we are to enter is straight, but along it we are to lead men, women, and children teaching them that in order to be saved, they must have a new heart and a new spirit. The old hereditary traits of character are to be overcome. The natural desires of the soul must be changed. All deception, all falsifying, all evil speaking must be put away. The new life, which makes men and women Christ-like, is to be lived. We are, as it were, to swim against the current of evil. The way to heaven is narrow, hedged in by the divine law of Jehovah. Those who follow this way must constantly deny self. They must obey the teachings of Christ. Let us not trust in man, but in Jesus Christ, who died that he might win us to righteousness.